All right. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, not Monday. We had Monday off. It was President's Day. Problem with three-day weekends is you wish that they were four-day weekends and then five-day weekends, and then you just wish you were retired. And that hasn't happened for me yet. Alas. The good news is, if I come to work and I'm in the office, I can look into this camera and record a video just for you. This shirt has no buttons anymore. They all fell off, so you get to deep chest uh, action there. Or I could, like, try to pretend. Perfect. I wore this shirt a lot. I like yellow. Have you noticed? In fact, if you go back past couple of days, it's there's a lot of yellow in there, and I'm just continuing the streak. It's unintentional, but that'll happen a lot when you have a lot of yellow to wear. So... Anyway, it is February 21st. This is uh, video number 34. Can you believe it? I couldn't. I just couldn't remember what number it was. I had to look it up. But it's currently 31 degrees, and there's no snow. But if we're really lucky, by the time I leave the office, there will be frozen fog. That's weird. And not fun to drive in, but... Alas, that may be what happens. Today, instead of catching up on work, the email was down for like five hours. And then when it came back up, there wasn't any email to read because no one could send email because email had been down. And a lot of those people leave a lot earlier than I do. I'm usually like the last person to leave this building. Well, one of the last five or six sometimes the last, quite often the last, but that's because I show up late and I leave late. But because I work globally, sometimes I have to be around for Australia people or for India people, Jap Japan people, China people. So there's stuff happening all hours of the day, but mostly it's just me sleeping too late. I'd like to say hi to all the people at Semantic watching this video. I uh, got some old comments from the W, which I'm going to tackle right now. First from Scotty Flamingo, who clearly is new to watching these videos. He asks, who are the two pictures behind you? Ask and answered. I'll answer them again. From here, uh, first uh, he says, from here it looks like Jim, Jim Ross and John Waters. Well, that's Jim Ross. That's a signed photo of Jim Ross that John Orchiola sent me because he bought so much beef jerky and barbecue sauce that he had lots of extra copies and I got one because that was real nice of him. Uh, this isn't John Waters although I guess just because it's so out of focus it probably looks like it could be but Enrique doesn't actually have a mustache. That's Enrique Salem the semantic CEO. How'd our stock do today by the way? Usually I check at least once a day but I haven't checked today. Down a penny. Oh Enrique Oh, Enrique. Seventeen ninety four down a penny. Still. Close to eighteen. Closer to eighteen than seventeen, so can't complain too much, right? I see that our ex CEO, John Thompson, has been added to the board of Microsoft. That's not gonna help us at all. Interesting. A lot of people have some very strong opinions about JT. I like JT because he never fired me. The same reason I like Enrique, he has not fired me. My continued employment will always get a positive opinion of whichever executives are in power from me. And you can tell right now I'm doing a lot to ensure my job security. What's your ideal Pokemon lineup? Mm, I don't know. I've never played the video game, so I'm going to answer that by saying whatever Ash is using, because that dude never loses, man. Flea wrote back to say he's watching every video. Thank you, Flea. Checks in the mail. Actually, it doesn't. The shirt is not in the mail either. Sooner or later, I will send that thing off, man. It's going to happen right after I send my parents their Christmas presents. I need to call my parents.
I like to say hi to my mom and dad if they're watching. If they are, they're being real coy about not letting me know. Anyway, Flea asked some questions too. Would I like more content and less sloth and procrastination? Do you need questions? How many words did you write recapping the Monday Night War? Uh, don't remember. I've checked in the past. I think it was in the millions, but not the tens of millions, I think. I remember at the time I had worked out how much I had written for WrestleLine while they existed as a way of letting them know how criminally underpaid I was. And they came back with a real funny joke that, well, wasn't funny at all, but I think at that time it was like two point something million just for WrestleLine. So that was just two years, but there was a lot of, it's now 538, a lot of content produced for them. So there wasn't as much content produced outside of them, but there was a year with WrestleManiacs and then there was a year after WrestleMania. A year and a bit, I think. But I did more shows for WrestleLine probably than I did for my site. So between, at one point, it's hard to believe now, but I was young and stupid and never slept. I recapped like five different shows in a week. There was a show almost every night. There was a show usually six nights out of seven. And I wouldn't do pay-per-views, but I had done... Raw, SmackDown, Thunder, Nitro, uh, Wow, if it was on. So that was five right there. And then there was the three WXO shows. I did Heat a couple weeks. So, man. If only I'd have been earning money instead of doing that stuff for free, right? Que sera, sera. Why don't you do video Raw commentary, even if it's a day later? Just the responses of what's doing. Well... Logistics. And let's face it, after a couple of minutes of this, you don't need to see that for two hours. Uh, besides, I'm doing Twitter. You should follow me on Twitter and follow along there. And there are other people who do a good job during Twitter, too. Uh, I'm supposed to say to Justin Shapiro that Flea has been in love for ten years. I don't think Justin's watching these, but if he is... Get together. Come on, guys. Words don't seem to mean a thing. Tell us your lack of fetish for Hot Pockets. My, I have a lack of fetish for Hot Pockets. I'm not sure what that means, Flea. What did you want me to say? I still have a lot of Lean Pockets in the freezer, but I am too lazy to bring them to work and eat them. So that's my problem. If I were to, I do track Lean Pockets on CRZ.net, although I think there's only one Lean Pocket since I started keeping track. I will try to remember to bring some to work. But, you know, I don't really need them. That's the thing. Today, while the email was out, I went to Walmart. Let's look over here. And then I now have 24 more Marochan top ramens to eat, or cup noodles. So even though they were out of one flavor, chili lime with shrimp, I hope it hasn't been discontinued. But I want you to know there's still 28 cents at Walmart, so I got 24 for... You do the math. I also got a big thing of mixed nuts. So I can say these nuts and then show them to you. Oh, here's my receipt. Let's see, what did I pay? I paid seven forty four for nuts. That's more than half of my total of fourteen sixteen. So you figure it out. And we're gonna hope that she actually charged me for twenty four and not more or less. It's real weird at Walmart where they feel like they have, they have to scan everything. Mmm, great value. That That is generic. So you got to scan each individual cup noodles, really? You can't just put in six of these, five of those, four of those, four of those? No? Okay. And actually, it was, what did it say? Six, five, five, and four? How do you get to 24? Maybe there were four flavors. Oh, there are five flavors. Beef, chicken, roast chicken, shrimp, and super hot chili shrimp and not chili lime shrimp so usually there's six flavors isn't that interesting we've just wasted 10 minutes but anyway i should probably track ramen at crz.net but i don't instead i track lean pockets and then i don't eat them oh well are you visiting crz.net probably not but you should 
It's a really interesting way to stalk me because I'm living my life online. And I'm over time, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, I should have talked about the Nuggets Timberwolves game, but uh, they lost, so who cares? Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Or in an hour for SmackDown. I've wasted another minute. I'm sorry. I owe you a minute.